This is a how-to on Allen Block's retaining wall app available on iTunes. AB Blockhead Walls is the name of the app. To open it, you simply click on the icon and it brings you to the collection page. You see here is the option to estimate your wall as well as several collections and featured projects. The collections are a great way to view their products and the featured projects are just photos of additional projects that they've uh, posted on here to help you generate ideas. If you ever get lost on how to use the app, there is the option to uh, get directions by clicking on the How to Use App button. For estimating your wall, you simply begin by clicking on the Estimate Your Wall icon. Once Estimate Your Wall opens, you'll see that there are two different ways to navigate through the program using the back and next arrows at the top of the screen or the steps one through five located at the bottom of the screen. Step one, draw your retaining wall, is where you will enter in the points that you've measured out in your yard. Um, looking at this, it's just like grid paper. Along the left hand side, you'll see that there's grid spaced at three feet on center. Likewise, along the top, the grids are spaced at three feet on center. To enter in your wall, you simply pick a point that you want to start. I'm going to start with the location of 15 and 15. I'm going to go ahead and tap my finger there to enter in a data point. Um, the, the shape that I'm drawing here is a U shape. Um, basically, I'm going to do a raised portion in my backyard for our little planting area. Um, my next location is 15 feet down, and I go 30 feet over. And then I'm returning back up another 15 feet. Now if at any point you enter in a, uh, a location that you don't like where you've clicked on the screen, you can simply click on clear last point and it removes that point. And then you just simply start to enter it again. If at any time you want to clear all, start completely over, there is the clear all button. You can simply tap on that with your finger and all the data points will be cleared. This is how you enter in your plan. If you're ready to move on, you can go ahead and click the next arrow. This brings you to step two, add the wall heights. You'll see that in green, the app automatically defaults to a height of six feet. That's because that is the maximum wall height that you can estimate in the app. For my wall, I have wall heights of one foot at this location, and it goes to four feet, four feet, and one foot. So I'll need to change these values. To do so, you simply click on the green icon, and you'll see that uh, a text box shows up. Backspace, I'm going to change that to 1. Click Finish to enter in the value. Do the same here for 4, so I'll delete 4, click Finish to enter in the, the height. Change this one here quickly as well, and follow that same way for the last point here. So now I have my wall heights entered in as one foot, four foot, four foot, one foot to appropriately match my project. To move on, simply click the next arrow. Step three, what is above the wall? The app allows you to estimate based on three different conditions, a level, slope, or driveway above the wall. What is above your wall will make a difference on how the app estimates your geogrid quantities. Oftentimes a slope and a driveway will require more than a level condition. So it's very important that you select the appropriate above wall condition. To change between the, the different conditions, you simply toggle the off to on by tapping on it. In my case, I have a level condition, so I'll return back to the, the level. To move on, click the next arrow. Step four, what type of soil do you have? The app allows you to estimate based on two different soil types, clay and sandy. Clay soil, when you hold it in your hand, um, it often feels somewhat smooth. The particles or the, the sand grains are super, super small, and if you get it wet, it might actually even feel a little bit slippery. When you um, maybe take a full handful and it's wet, you can oftentimes pack it together and get it to, to hold the shape of a ball. Whereas sandy soil, sandy soil is made out of larger grains of sand, and when you um, add water to it, it still feels very coarse. Likewise, if you try to pack it, um, you most likely won't be able to pack it into a ball to have it hold its shape. If you don't know what type of soil you have, 
the app tells you in its directions that you're supposed to assume clay soil and that's what it's automatically defaulted to. In my case, if I knew that I had sandy soil, I could change it by clicking the off to on, but my condition I actually don't know, so I'm gonna go with the default of assuming that it's clay. To move on, click the next arrow. This brings us to step five. Once you get to step five, you'll notice that your wall has slightly changed. Rather than having corners, it now has smooth rounded out curves. The reason that this is, is because it's a lot easier to build a curve than it is a corner. Um, talking to a, a local sales rep guy at my store, he told me that corners are generally weak spots in the wall. If the wall's gonna fail, it's likely at a corner. And on top of it, once you start cutting block, it adds a lot more work to building the wall. So they, they suggest using curves rather than corners. And the app has this already built in. When you look at step five, you can now see the quantity of AB classic blocks that are required. You can also see the overall length of your wall. Now if you wanted additional information, there is an option here. You can either click on next or more detailed information. To submit your wall, simply provide your email address and postal code. Click on Submit Project and shortly thereafter you'll get an email with a nice little package that includes a cover page, a plan view of your wall, as well as an elevation view of your wall, basically the front view of your wall. If you have a larger wall, it's continued on to the next page. And it provides you with sections, this being a section for a portion of the wall that can be designed as a, what they call a gravity wall, a wall with no geogrid and then this being a portion of the wall that requires geogrid. Included are estimates for the AB stone and AB classic. You can see that includes basically the, the block quantities, your caps, your grid, your rock, soil, drain pipe, and, and even tubes of adhesive. So ultimately it gives you practically everything that you need to uh, actually build your wall. Also is an ashlar pattern estimate, which is really nice pattern wall. You can see the photo here. If you need to see additional like ideas and, and uh, other information, in the email itself you can click on these icons and it'll take you directly to the website. Also a really nice feature. Uh, an estimate for AB Europa and the AB Europa's AB Abbey Blend. Um, then lastly the Fieldstone, which is their new two-piece uh, system. And then lastly, where to buy and store locations. So it gets you set up with basically everything you need to know for block quantities as well as where you can go to find it.